welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys we'll be doing my champions league europa league and conference league recap we're going to be doing our third qualifying round recap and then i'll be doing youtube shorts for the playoff round predictions okay guys so we're going to go ahead and get started so please run a like and subscribe guys and yeah man like i said guys it's just the final round before the playoffs and then we'll finally get the way for competitions to start so let's go with the third qualifying round shall we so the first one we had here is quarterback versus Ludogorets, man. This was actually interesting because I believe quarterback actually lost the first, like, 2-1 at home. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, quarterback's probably going to lose. You know, Ludogorets at home the second leg. But in stunning fashion, uh, quarterback scored seven goals, I believe, on the road, which is actually insane. Absolutely insane. Like, the fact that they're able to pull off a big win like that on the road is absolute madness. And look at the amount of goals he scored in stop extra time. They scored four goals in stoppage time. Absolutely insane. And Luda Goretz, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for that embarrassing performance. And shout out to quarterback for doing an amazing comeback. And yeah, man, shout out to quarterback. Next up was Slovan Barcelona versus Applewell. This was pretty straightforward. Slovan Barcelona won 2 0 the first leg. And yeah, it was routine. Second leg, nil-nil draw. Not really much to speak of there. And shout out to Spar Praha. Because I thought Spar Praha really messed up when they tied 1-1 at home. But they did the unthinkable by w going away to FCSB and winning to win 3-0 to be 3-0 up. They almost screwed up, though, because FCSB almost didn't come back. But it wasn't to be as Spar Praha are through to the next round. And the next one was Malmo versus Pauk. Shout out to Malmo. Because Malmo did it. They, um... Uh, you know, they tie 2-2 at home. You're thinking Pauk has a second leg at home, so they'll be able to do it. And Malmo, man, you have to give the character because what they're able to do was amazing. The comeback that they did and to win 4-3 away in Greece is fantastic. So shout out to them, man. Next up is Michelin versus Ferenc Varos. Uh, shout out to Michelin for knocking out Ferenc Varos, you know, our Danish champions. And yeah, shout out to uh, for, uh, Michelin for doing it, man. So Ferenc Varos, very disappointing for them, and yeah. Next up it is uh, Bodo Glimt. Bodo Glimt did it, man. Shout out to Bodo Glimt. It, it would have been nice to see Jogolo Biosic make it through because, that, um, you know, it would have been a nice Cinderella story underdog. But, you know, obviously Bodo Glimt have too much quality. And, yeah, it's not too surprising that they advance. Then moving on, we have to the league path. we got Slavia Prague versus Union SG. Slavia Prague took care of business. 1-4-1 one, one aggregate. Union SG didn't really offer anything. And, yeah, it's just a very disappointing. Next up is Leo versus Farron Uh I'm very disappointed, guys, because I really wanted to see Leo uh, Farron Bocce back in the Champions League. I really wanted to see uh, Mourinho back in the Champions League because, you know, it's been so long since Mourinho's been out of the Champions League. But, unfortunately, it isn't to be as Leo uh, progressed 3-2 on aggregate. It was a very close one. Went down to the wire. Lay drama. And Farron Bocce messed up, man. I, I really thought they had it when they scored the goal. Before uh, forcing the extra time, but John the David had other plans and scored a goal in the 118th minute. And Farron Bocce, uh, Leo, even won despite a man down, which is actually pretty insane. Well, one on aggregate, should I say. So, yeah. Next up was Dynamo Kiev versus Rangers, and this was definitely a shock. Dynamo Kiev winning 2 0 away at Rangers. Remember, Rangers did go down to 10 men, though, so maybe it's not as surprising, but still, like, Rangers, man, very disappointing, especially at home. You know, I thought Rangers had it when they equalized away and Dynamo Kiev got the late equalizer Dessers, but it wasn't to be as Rangers messed up, man. So Rangers will not be in the Champions League this season. Then moving on, we have here, it is RB Salzburg versus Twente. And RB Salzburg did the bare minimum to win 5-4 in aggregate. Not very convincing, I have to be honest. You know, RB Salzburg definitely looking worse than they were last season, but shout out to them. And Twente, man, they're out. So... Looking ahead to the playoff round, which I'll not be making predictions for, but I'll just give you guys a little teaser. I'll probably be dropping the predictions video on Sunday, uh, potentially Saturday I might drop, because I got I got, I got to take some time to think. So the seven winners are going to move on to the Champions League, and the seven losers will go down to the Europa League. So we have some interesting teams. Galatasaray could be interesting. Then you have Korbeg, Dinamo Zagreb, Michelin, or Red Straw Ball, Grace, Far Praha, you know, Lille. Dinamo Kiev. Dinamo Kiev versus Salisbury is very interesting. So, my predictions video will be dropping on Sunday, guys, for this one, guys. So, stay tuned for our YouTube show, guys. Please run a like and subscribe to get notified. Anyways, let's move on over to Europa League, guys. Europa League time. Let's go ahead and look at this, guys. Europa League here, right? So, third qualifying round, guys. 
So as you can see, the first match we got here is KI versus Boric Banja Luka. And shout out to uh, Borja, uh, Boric Banja Luka for doing it, man. It would have been nice to see KI in the Europa League because obviously they were in Conference League last season, but it wasn't to be. And Boric Borja won 4 through an aggregate. Then RFS, they pretty much just saw Santa Coloma 9 0 in aggregate. It was going to be close. And the Shamrock Rovers, shout out to them, man. They did a late comeback. Um, well, not really late, but they did the comeback against um, Selge. And yeah, shout out to them, man. And then Makeba Tel Aviv absolutely destroyed Penizivik. Not too surprising there. Uh, then you got Petrakov, Penisti, that won 1 0 aggregate. I feel really bad for the New Saints. They weren't able to score a goal, and Petrakov only advanced by an, by an own goal. Uh, then obviously, Dinamo Minisk versus Lincoln Red Ems. Shout out to uh, Dinamo Minisk for doing a uh, bare minimum to do it. And so, yeah, shout out to them. And Lincoln Red Ems are obviously out. And the league path we got here is Lugano versus Partizan. Lugano wins 3 2 aggregate. That away win was very crucial because they almost screwed up at home. But they were able to see see it through, and that's important. And then we have Mold versus Circle of Bruges. Mold to career business won 3 0 the first leg, and that was to be. Uh, the Ajax, man, very disappointing. I know Panetta Naikos is a strong team. They're a very defensive team. They're very well organized and stuff like that. But this is really sad, Ajax. You had to do the bare minimum to make it through. Not convincing from Ajax. And yeah, but they did it. Uh, the Rapid VN, they actually knocked on Travis Sport. This was kind of a bit of a surprise. I did not expect Rapid VN to win away in Turkey. But, you know, shout out to them. Uh, the Braga versus Servette. Uh, Servette actually loses at home, and Braga managed to do the uh, enough to manage to win 2 1. Then Ria covers Elvesbor. Elvesbor won 3 1 aggregate. Uh, then we got Victoria Pleasant that won against Kervis Kiria 3 1 aggregate. So now here's the playoff round, guys, looking ahead. So this is the teams that can make in the Europa League. So 12 teams will make the Europa League from here, and 12 teams will drop down. Obviously, I'll be doing my YouTube short on uh, Saturday or Sunday. And yeah, man, so we're going to have our YouTube short there. So it's going to be interesting, guys. We have some interesting matchups. Just give you guys my favorite matchups from this round real quick. Um, I really like this matchup in here in particular. I think... Uh, I, I would say Mold versus Elvesburg could be a good one. That, that could be interesting. Mold A versus Elvesburg could be a great one. Now we're going to move to the Conference League, guys. Conference League. So here we are, Conference League, guys. Conference League time right here. So let me... See if we can get the um both games right here. So let's see. Is there like a Wikipedia for the uh let's see, is there, let me check if there is. Hopefully there is because I really want to see these matches in detail, but I don't, I don't think there is, unfortunately. I don't think there is. We're not gonna be able to see. Um uh, oh wait, yeah, there there is, there is. Okay. Okay. Alright. So let's start with the champions path first. We got uh Vaikari Rakivi. Uh, they did the minimum 3 2 in aggregate. So, shout out to them. Punic versus uh, Ordes Bay. Punic won 3 uh, 2 1 0 in aggregate. And then, uh, Lauren actually won on penalties against Balkani. And HJK, they just did enough to advance, man. So, shout out to the HJK for doing enough. Now, let's go back to the league path, guys. Let's go back to the league path here. Um, and yes, we have some interesting results. So, we got um, Medua Bosev that won um, 5 3 in aggregate. There you got Thalmerk that actually won three targets. They won away in Norway. is actually pretty impressive. Then you got Puskas Akademi that won four three in aggregate. The Victoria de Gormerez actually destroyed Zurich five 0 in aggregate. Is crazy. That's really embarrassing for Zurich. Now Pax uh, won five two in aggregate. Hakun won seven two in aggregate. Uh, then Maribor actually did enough. They won on pens. Uh, the Sparta Chernive actually lost to Whistle Kroko. Big upset here, right, Ben? Big ups, so shout out to Whistlake Rocco for doing it, man. It's actually a big upset, man. A big upset. And they actually compete in the second division of Poland. So this is actually an incredible upset. So we got to give a round of applause for that. That's an incredible upset. So shout out to that one. That's a good upset. The St. Patrick's Athletic did enough. They won 2 0 aggregate. That Braun won 3 4 2 aggregate. CSK 1948 uh, lost four, 5 2 aggregate. Paul Falls won 4 0. Um, and then George Gadon won uh, 4 2 aggregate against Lilves. Uh, then Astana won 8 2. Then, wow, Hatchcook split is out. That's also another big surprise there. Rizabek made it through. Uh, then, wow, guys, is this one of the big upsets of the round? Noah actually defeated AK Athens 3 2. And keep in mind, guys, AK Athens is the Greek champions. This is actually pretty crazy. Then you got Jidrita that beat Oda 3 uh, 2 aggregate. Ethan Bobash actually defeated Ibora 3 2 in aggregate. 
And then, wow, Braun B is out. That's actually impressive. And Legia Warsaw, man, that away win was critical. Huge away win. Uh, the CFR Kluge did enough to know aggregate. And again, actually wins 5-4 in aggregate against Silkborg. And then Zira actually wins against 2-1 against Osik. Return aggregate. And then, wow, so it's work a lot. 1-4 in aggregate. And the Butter, Bladu. Uh, sorry, so in this game, Mustair won 4 through an aggregate, 3 2 aggregate. And then Omenio wins 3 0 aggregate. And then Copenhagen actually made it through on pens. And then Olympia Lubana won 4 0 aggregate. So we have some interesting matchups right here, guys. We have some interesting matchups. So, of course, I will be dropping my YouTube short. Now, this one I might have to do a two part for this one because there's a lot of matchups. So I might have to do a two part. So maybe I'll do a two part for this one. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, man. But that's it for the Conference League, guys. Conference League. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, this was a pretty uh, cool video to look forward to. So I, like I said, guys, I'll be dropping my predictions most likely on Saturday or Sunday. Um, and yeah, you guys will see what I predict for the uh, playoff round predictions. Indeed. So I hope you guys did enjoy. So please remember to like and subscribe. And peace out.